This is the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G and it is a huge upgrade from its predecessor. This right here comes with a whooping 200 megapixels main camera and we shall be diving into that much later on in this video when we talk about its specifications and also look at some sample pictures and videos from this device. But first, let's talk about its design and its build quality. The first highlight is the square camera housing with its subtle divider placed on a glass bag and held together by a plastic frame. This one I have here is the Midnight Black, if I am not mistaken. And aside from being absolutely terrible to capture on camera due to reflections, even worse, it is a fingerprint magnet and constantly gets smudges all over. This on its own is a huge put off for me, but it's only one of very few negatives. I like that the edges are slightly rounded off, so it not only grips well, but it's actually very comfortable to hold and use. Its build quality is good, and it almost does not feel nor look like a mid-range device. It has an IP54 rating, which makes it resistant to dust and splash. It has its volume rocker keys on the right side of the device, as well as its power button. The fingerprint sensor has however been moved, and can be found on the lower part of the screen. It is an optical sensor, so do not expect flagship responses from it. But with that said, it is quite snappy. On the bottom of the device, you have a dual SIM setup that sadly misses out on an SD card port, so no storage expansion this time. It also has a USB Type-C charging port and a speaker grill. The left side of the device is plain, and on the top you can find a headphone jack, a second speaker grill for stereo sound effect, a microphone, and my personal favorite, an IR blaster. Oh, and it also supports an eSIM which is absolutely commendable at this price point. The Redmi Note 13 Pro has a screen size of 6.67 inches with Corning Gorilla Glass Victors. Also boasts a 120Hz refresh rate with 12-bit colors, AMOLED screen, 446 pixels density, and 1,800 nits of peak brightness, which is insane. Using this device outdoors is a lot of fun and it supports HDR10 Plus video and Dolby Vision. Also new is the always-on display, which can be easily activated in settings. So what all this basically means is, consuming media on the Redmi Note 13 is just a beautiful experience. Great punchy colors with great levels of brightness and the surround sound for an even better experience. Plus, its 120Hz refresh rate makes scrolling through social media and navigating through this phone a breeze. It sadly comes with Android 13, but upgradable to 14 on MIUI 14 custom software. Also disappointing, as I expected, this will be rolling out with Xiaomi's new Hyper OS software. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 4nm octa-core CPU with Adreno 710. You can get the Redmi Note 13 Pro with uh, either 128GB, 256GB or 512GB of storage and 8, 12 or 16GB of RAM. It's amazing how much mid-range devices are advancing. I mean, just imagine what you can accomplish with the Redmi 13 Pro 5G and at its price. Even though this might not sound like much of a win for Nigerians, thanks to the economy. Surfing the web and multitasking really doesn't scratch the surface with the Redmi Note 13 Pro. Gaming, however, comes close. Gameplay is smooth and the graphics are great. The only thing you should watch out for is slight overheating after long periods of gameplay, which is normal. All your favorite games will run on this device without any hassle. Now for its cameras. The main camera has a whopping 200 megapixels resolution, like I mentioned, with an 8 megapixels ultra wide lens and a 2 megapixels macro lens. In great lighting conditions, the Redmi Note 13 Pro produces great photos with good sharpening, a lot of good detail, great dynamic range, realistic colors, and contrast. When you zoom in to take photos, it retains a lot of details with almost no loss of quality. At night, it does just as good with great dynamic range and fine details. 
It shoots videos at 4K 30 frames per second and the colors are accurate with great dynamic range. Also has image stabilization. Low light videos are not so great as you'll find a lot of noise in the shadows and dark areas, but it gets the job done. Ultra wide mode isn't as impressive and honestly, I don't think I would ever use it, both in photos and videos. Macro mode, however, can be fun, but lacks in detail and sharpness. The selfie camera on the Redmi Note 13 Pro has a 13 megapixel lens and also produces decent outputs with uh, realistic colors and good dynamic range. But its photos appear soft and less exciting compared to its main camera. For its price, its overall camera quality is fine and I recommend it. The battery on the Redmi Note 13 Pro is 5100 mAh with 67 watts charging and should charge from 0 to 100% in about an hour. A full charge should last you a whole day and two charges at the most for heavy users. So in conclusion, I would recommend the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G to anyone looking to get a device within its price range. It has a lot of positives and a few great upgrades from the Redmi Note 12 Pro, which is exciting. My few drawbacks are one, it's glass bag that is always covered in prints. Secondly, it's lack of a storage expansion. Even though it does come with decent storage options, I would still like the ability to add extra. And finally, the fact that it launched with Android 13 when they could have easily rolled it out with Android 14. On the plus side, we have an amazing display, great cameras, on-screen fingerprint sensor that is snappy and great refresh rate. I hope this video has been useful to you and if it has, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with more videos like this. Thank you for your time. Till we see you again. <laughs> Last take. Please do subscribe to stay up to date with more videos like this. Thank you for your time. Till we see you again. Bye bye.